As Simon Fraser's fur trading post developed into a full-fledged city, the local forestry business also took off. Today, we begin our series on Prince George's economy with a look at lumber. Massive trucks loaded with full trailers of logs, far from uncommon on the roads of northern British Columbia, they're moving endorsements of the prominence of today's forestry industry. Midway through the 20th century, mills were the pinnacles of prosperity. Gargantuan plants planed lumber, bleached pulp, and contributed to the development of communities across the north, especially Prince George. Forestry thrived. It really did push into the interior of BC. Uh, it expanded many of the small communities. It set the establishment. The, the bush mills were the big part of, of what sort of drove the development of British Columbia and, and the infrastructure. Darcy Henderson says the city of Prince George quickly gained a reputation for being a forestry town. About 25 years ago, Prince George boasted about a dozen sawmills. However, that number has dwindled to three. The mountain pine beetle has devastated dense boreal forest. Demand took a serious hit in 2008 during the U.S. housing crisis. Weak economies across the world have hurt investor interest. We're here for the long term, so forestry is a little different that way. You don't just turn the tap on and off as, as prices fluctuate, so it offers a fantastic, stable work environment within your community. Robert Schutz is less bullish. He says forestry has seen a great deal of consolidation since the late 80s and early 90s, and lumber prices are not what they used to be. The average over the you know the last couple of years, it, you know the the trend this year is a little bit lower than last year, and it's probably not looking like it's going to be significantly larger next year. Canfor's recent third quarter results may offer some encouragement, though. The Forestry Corporation reported shares of 34 cents each compared to 20 cents for the same time last year. And according to Statistics Canada, lumber production increased by 10 percent in the northern half of BC's interior for the months of June and July compared to that period in 2013. We're fortunate that we've diversified enough into other uh, industries that it's, we're not so forestry dependent as uh, some of the other communities like uh, uh, you know, Burns Lake or uh, Mackenzie. Other industries like education and health care. The Prince George economy is branching out to develop a service sector economy much like other medium to large size urban centers. But for some people, nothing beats the long history of forestry, and they argue it has a healthy future ahead. Some people would say it's a bit of a sunset industry, and we, we argue that uh, very strongly. It's a sun, sun, the sun rises out there. And Ryan Kessler, CKPG News.